All right, guys, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to deal with multiple line hyperlinks. My name is Dax Castro. I'm an Adobe certified PDF accessibility trainer. I'm also an accessible document specialist certified by the International Association of Accessibility Professionals. And in this quick video, we're going to talk about how to deal with multiple line hyperlinks. Now we have a sample document here and you can see we've got a list of three different links, right? And you can see that we've got, first of all, one of the things you have to understand about what's happening here is that when you have multiple line hyperlinks, InDesign doesn't understand how to export it as one link. It's a bug and it's been here quite a while, right? Hopefully someday soon they fix it. But when your link spans multiple lines, it actually creates two link references, one for the first line and one for the second line, and then separates the text out in span tags. When we can, we try to keep hyperlinks to one line. So how do we do that? Here you can see we have our web aim link and there's this extra stuff here in parentheses that, um, that really doesn't need to be part of the hyperlink. So how do we remove that, right? So if we come in here and we just hit delete, it actually deletes the hyperlink from both, the, both sides of this. It doesn't just delete the hyperlink from, the other, from one side or the other. So how do you just delete it from part of the text, right? So let's select, let's uh, just right click anywhere and we're gonna go to edit and story editor. And if you've never used story editor, it's kind of like the old days of DOS where you have reveal codes. You can actually see where the different things are. And in this case, we can see where the anchors are, right? So I can tell here that I've got all of this stuff in between this link and that link icon, but I don't, I want, I just want that other piece. So I'm going to grab the space and that part, and I'm going to press control X to cut on my keyboard. Now I'm going to simply just try to click on the other side of this icon. The cursor is not going to move, but I just want to click there and then hit paste. And you can see what happened is that it actually pasted it on the other side of that link. So now it's no longer. So if we go back into our source here and we look at our, at our hyperlinks panel, right? And you can get to the hyperlinks panel by going to window, interactive, hyperlinks. You can see that when I'm inside this text, none of this is highlighted. When I'm over here on plan, this link is highlighted. It's this part is the only part that's now the hyperlink, right? So why is it still underlined? Well, because we have a style, right? We have a style associated with this. So if we go to our character style and we select none, now we have our hyperlink the way it's supposed to be. It's not multi-line, so we don't have to go through a bunch of hoops um, and we're good to go. This one is just fine. You could leave it with the parens or you could not. Again, we would do the same thing. Anywhere in this text, you're gonna right click and go into edit and story editor. Let's hide that for a second. And then we are going to take this section. Now you can't really tell, but that link starts here and ends here. So it's kind of funky, but don't worry about it, right? We want to grab the space too, and we're going to hit cut. And then we're going to put that right in the middle and hit paste, right? So now if we close this back out again, same thing, nothing is highlighted in here. We can simply select over that, go back into our character style and select none. And that makes a nice clean look, right? But if we go down here to the bottom, only this part is in parentheses on this third link. So that means this is actually part of the full entire link. All right, so for this third link, we want, we, we're gonna have to do some surgery. So first of all, let's get rid of this tag PDF, put the space in there like it's supposed to be. We're gonna right click and go to edit and story editor. The shortcut there is control Y, right? Um, and we're gonna select this text with the space, hit cut, click once, hit paste, and then now we can select this out here, going to our character style and hit none. Now we have this formatted pretty consistently, but we still have to deal with this hyperlink. So let's go ahead and save this document and generate our PDF, right? The other thing you'd wanna do is you'd wanna go into your hyperlinks, right? And go into accessibility and make sure that you give some alt descriptions for each of these links so that you can be uh, perfectly compliant, right? Some of the automated tools will actually um, speed this process up for you by regurgitating the text that is the link um, if it's meaningful and tells you where you're going and what's going to be happening, right? All right, so let's go ahead and export our document. So we're gonna go to export hyperlinks, overwrite the other one, and then hit okay, right? Now let's take a look at our tags tree. So like we would assume, this first link 
is fine. There's our link, our single OBJR, and the text that goes with it, right? But if we look at our last one in our L body, we have link, right? But inside the link, we have two OBJRs. As a matter of fact, they're in opposite order even, right? And the spans that go along with them. So let's actually, and there's another span here with the empty content. So whenever you do a forced return, a soft return at the end of a line, you're always going to get this empty container box, right? So you can't just delete it because that would, um, everything needs to have a tag. So we need to, to, or an association. So we need to right click on this and do change tag to artifact, hit okay. And then delete our empty container because it's now empty. And then we're going to combine our two spans into one. Not that it really matters, but it's just nicer, right? Now we have our two OBJRs, right? Now we could simply delete the first one, right? But the problem is if we go ahead and, uh, well, let's save this as another doc. All right. If we run our checker here, accessibility check, we get page content error, tagged annotation failure, right? Why is that? Because if we go into our content panel, we can see under annotations that we in fact still have one, two, three, four. So there's no parent, there's no pair for the other side of this link. So it says, hey, you've got a link, but we don't have the text to go along with it. So that's why you're getting this error. And you're thinking, well, let's just delete that, right? Well, the problem is you can't just delete it from the tags tree. You can't delete it from the content panel. So what do you do? You can right click on it in here and go delete link, right? But then you only have, uh, and it, uh, it deletes the link, but now you only have half of this that actually has the link associated with it. So how do we fix that? Let's close this document and go back to our original one. And then we're going to go back into our tags tree, right? And we're gonna go back down into our last L body. And here again, we have the two link OBJRs, our two spans. Let's grab those and combine that with delete. We're gonna right click and change that tag to an artifact and then hit okay. Now we can delete our empty content box. Now we have a little bit cleaner code, right? So let's deal with this OBJR, this double OBJR. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna do copy link location, right? So we're gonna copy link location. Now it's in our clipboard. Now we can go right click and hit delete link, right click and hit delete link, so, but it's still copied in our clipboard, so we're okay. Make sure we're inside this link, uh, this link uh, sub tag, right? And we're gonna select all of that URL that we want to be a link, right? Select it all. We're gonna right click and do create link. Open a web page is what we wanna do. We hit next. Now remember, we copied that link location, so all I have to do is hit paste and it pastes it right back in. Now I hit okay, and then here we have. We have our link OBJR that is the single piece for both pieces of text, all remediated correctly. If we hit save and we go back into our document and do an accessibility check and we start checking, we only have a title failed, which is we're going to leave this. We're going to just change this. This is going to be hyperlinks, fixing hyperlinks. Can't type today. And then author is me, Dax Castro. ADS, right? Hit okay, everything passes, we're good to go. You still have, of course, your manual checks, but that is how you fix multiple line URLs. Any other way is gonna cause errors when it comes to trying to remediate it. All right, guys, my name is Dax Castro. It's been my pleasure to give you a quick tutorial on how to fix multiple line hyperlinks. I hope this has helped you a lot. And if you're not part of our Facebook group, go ahead and search PDF accessibility and find us on Facebook. We'd love to see you there. There are 900 of us in that group, all waiting to answer and talk to you about accessibility.